Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, January 17th. Elon Musk claims that Tesla has not had a single crash in the full self-driving beta program since it started over a year ago. This is either an omission or denial of the previous crash report that was sent to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. A Model Y owner in the beta program claimed in the complaint to the NHTSA that the system caused the crash, but it couldn't be verified. Even if the single crash claim was true, it is impressive that the program has likely logged millions of miles with so few incidents. Then again, it could be more proof that Tesla owners in the program are driving carefully because we have seen plenty of videos where the full self-driving beta program would have caused an accident if the driver didn't take control. Tesla is starting to push a new version of the full self-driving beta software, version 10.9. It includes upgrades to the intersection extents and right-of-way assignment, generalized static object network, lane preference and topology estimation, short deadline lane changes, and more. Based on the percentages of improvements, it looks like a more modest update than the previous ones. But CEO Elon Musk did say that a bigger update, version 11, is likely coming in the next month. He also announced last night on Twitter, quote, we will start rolling out full self-driving beta in Canada, cautiously, in the next two to four weeks. Elon Musk announced that Tesla is starting to roll out a new over-the-air software update that includes a fix to the heat pump issue that has been plaguing Teslas in cold weather regions. Last week, we reported on Tesla owners who are losing heat in extreme cold as some heat pumps are failing. This is despite a software fix that occurred around this time last year. Recently, Musk said that fixing the issue was a high priority. Some suggested that a software fix would be difficult to implement. Some Tesla service centers are advising owners physically clear ice buildup on the air intake. Both the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in the U.S. and Transport Canada announced that they are investigating the issue as a safety concern. Stellantis is entering Europe's cheap EV market with the new Fiat Panda. Set to arrive as soon as this spring, the new subcompact has a customization twist. They write that it will, quote, come with only one livery and can be customized via the 4U program, with a choice between four roof covers, four bumpers, four wheel wraps, and four paint wraps. They go on to say that the interior has interchangeable plug-and-play accessories, and they showcase the dashboard with an extending arm to hold either a tablet or phone. The price hasn't been announced yet, but we anticipate it being well under 30,000 euros. China's leading battery manufacturer, CATL, recently shared news that it is entering the market of battery swap technology for electric vehicles. The battery swap method remains a nascent form of EV battery technology, as most automakers have gravitated instead towards stationary rechargeable battery platforms. CATL shared the news with their Weibo and WeChat accounts starting on Saturday, offering a countdown to the official event on Tuesday afternoon, Beijing time. Actually, that's not too far from right now. Oil giant BP claims that the use of their Pulse electric vehicle chargers is on the cusp of being more profitable for the company than filling an internal combustion engine car with gas. Recharging a car has always been a lost leader for oil companies, but this is good news that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, at least for BP. They plan on growing their EV charging business in the coming years from the current 11,000 stations to 70,000 charging points by 2030, focusing on DC fast chargers. Subaru unveiled their all-electric STI E-RA concept car with 1,073 horsepower. Subaru says that it built the vehicle to gain, quote, experience and training of new technologies in the world of motorsports in this carbon-neutral era. Subaru still has a long way to go, the way that we see it. The company's close ties with Toyota have left them lagging behind in the EV space, notably with only one electric SUV in the works. Subaru has made a name for themselves with a great all-wheel drive platform, but in the days of electric hub motors with independent steering, their cutting edge of performance has worn a bit dull. In today's community comment, Martin Woods reports on Prestige Cards of Kent. According to Martin, the company listed four Tesla Model Y vehicles on the United Kingdom eBay, where the new vehicle has not yet landed. Martin says that he contacted the reselling company, and their stock of these vehicles will be available in about three weeks. 
Martin believes that they're trying to flip the cars for a quick profit. And there's a lot of that going around these days. Since the wait time for Tesla is so long, over a year for the fancy models, the used Teslas are actually being sold for more than a brand new one in many cases. The crunch for these vehicles is so crazy that Tesla has gone as far as selling vehicles with old battery packs and announcing their expectations. Teslas are truly a hot commodity both here and across the pond. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.